Hey everybody, it's Christina with Mint Strings, and this is the final video that I'm doing on the armrest install. Uh, this one is using our new clear tape. This is red backing. Uh, all of our armrests now come with this new tape. So there is a video that I made a little while ago about removal. This is actually a new guitar. It, it is for sale. I did a demo video of removing this. Uh, this It had been on the guitar for four months. I wanted to show that it was just as easy to remove it. Uh, as whether it was day one or month four, it doesn't really matter. The tape does not seem to deteriorate at all. Uh, but anyhow, to, this is uh, we're doing the install of this piece. As you can see, this is a really beautiful boxwood. It goes very nicely with this top, which kind of looks different when it's in this light. But anyhow, so your first step is to make sure that your tape is, is in place correctly, which it should be when you get it. Um, move this all the way. Uh, first thing you want to do is use some alcohol, 70% uh, or 90%, either one is fine. Um, this is a gloss top. If you have an open pour top, you want to do this a little bit more quickly. Um, but either way, get a piece of microfiber cloth and put a little bit of alcohol on it. And I'm just going to clean this. So, and again, this is gloss top, so I'm not going to worry about the alcohol on here. The alcohol is just going to take off any dirt, dust, um, and especially if you've been playing uh, bare arm, you're going to have some skin cells and, and, and skin oil in this area down here. I'm actually going to clean the whole thing. But anyway, you want to get this area here cleaned really good. And then take a second clean cloth and dry it. Make sure this is good and dry. There's no, no marks on it. Looks good. So the first thing you want to do after cleaning is to figure out where you want to put your armrest. So this is a uh, GA armrest, and this one fits the OM bodies pretty well, uh, actually very well. So what you're going to do, no matter which one you have, is find out where on the curve here that your armrest is going to sit and where you'd like it to sit. They will not all sit in the same place. And the nice thing is that they're long enough that it will keep your arm off the top of your guitar uh, no matter where you put it, unless you're putting it way down here, which I'm not sure that that would really be necessary. Most of them will be put somewhere in this area here. So once you're, you put it in the place you'd like, hold it down and run your finger along the edge. Make sure that it's, the armrest is sitting at the edge here and here, and then just check the middle. And this is a really, really nice fit for this guitar. So typically what you do is take some painter's tape or if you have a gloss top, you can also use a uh, erasable marker. And what you want to do is just mark here and here where the edges meet. So where the edges sit on the guitar. And the reason for that is when you pull the backing off, you want to ha at least have a marker of where to put your armrest. You don't want to have to guess and pull it up again. You want to do single time. You want to just drop it down there and have it be sitting in the correct place. So we'll take this off and see if I can show you. There's one spot. And where's the other spot? And the spot is here, right there. Okay, so now that I have my spots marked... I'm gonna take the backing, the red backing off, and I've already started pulling the backing off of this, uh, so it'll be easy. But typically a little uh, sharp knife, uh, pin, whatever you need to do to get this started, um, you just pull the red backing off. And if you happen to pull a little bit of tape, it's okay, just lay it back down uh, on the curve the way it's supposed to go. There we go, pull the backing off. Now you can see that's a nice clear tape um, you, I don't know if you can see there's some little ridges in the tape. Yeah, there they are right there. Don't worry about that. Um, it doesn't affect the way this is, uh, this sits on the top. It doesn't make it any bumpier, like it, it, it just, it lays flat. So don't worry about that. So what you'll do is, this is going to be kind of hard to do on video, but so my first mark is here for this side, and my other mark is here for this side. So what I'm gonna do is hold like this. Let me move this this way. And I'm gonna sit at the edge, and I'm gonna find on this side first, the edge, which is right here. I'm gonna drop the middle onto the edge like that, and I'm gonna start dropping it down. So 
There we go. It's a little bit, it's a little bit off. So what I'm gonna do is pull this back up again. So center down, and I'm not gonna, I didn't wanna touch the top, which I accidentally did touch the top, it's an issue. I'm actually gonna do this differently. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, hopefully this will work a little bit better. So my mark is here. I'm gonna hold that there. Drop your edge down here. Follow this around with your thumb. And you're gonna drop as you go. And then it meets right here at this edge. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop it in a place. Now take your finger and run it halfway between the edge and the armrest. Now it's a little bit in this way, so I'm gonna push this this, I'm gonna push the armrest this way. Now, mind you, this is just barely sitting on the top. It's sticking, but it's you can still move it a little bit. So once you're happy with the way it's sitting at the edge here, I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit. Okay, that's good. Then you just press. And that's all. You don't even you're not mashing down, you're just gently pressing down. Now it's on there. It's on there for good until you decide to take it off that is and you can see that in the in the uh, updated video so here's why i like the tape it's clear it's completely clear it looks so much better than the black foam tape that we were originally using and i know some uh i believe john pierce uses black tape or maybe white tape just doesn't look good the clear tape looks so much better um and to be honest you don't need to use that much tape of this new clear tape on here. The reason why I completely cover end to end with that tape is only because of what the player will see. Just what I just showed you. Um, you could really use two or even three pieces, one on each end and one in the middle. would hold it totally fine. And if you choose to, before you install it, you can cut off a couple of pieces and just leave the ends in the middle if you want. Um... Me personally, I didn't really like the way it looked because you could see the gaps. If you don't care, go for it. I mean, you can trim it however you'd like to use it. Like I said, it doesn't take very much to uh, to hold this in place. So I'm going to show you with everything, um, with the tape and everything installed, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to take my thumbs and I'm going to push. And you can see that the only thing that really moves on here is that little, because it's rubbery, um, it will move a little bit, but... I'm really pushing on there. It's not going anywhere. Uh, I had a couple players, just a handful, who had said that the uh, armrest slid off the guitar or slid down the guitar. And that was because their arm was very warm. It warmed up the foam tape and it allowed it to slide. This, on the other hand, that's not going to happen. This is a great tape. I love it. I love the fact that it's clear. It's a nice, clean look. And it holds great. So anyway, there you go. This is the final video of the installation. And if you have any questions, you can message me on messenger, facebook.com forward slash mint strings or sales at mint strings.com. Shoot me an email. I can answer any questions. If you need any advice, let me know. All right. That's that for today. Have a great day.